Um, why is BMI such an important factor when wanting to have surgery? Well, there's two reasons. And one reason is that they have done studies where they've said that the higher the BMI, the higher the risk of complications. When they've done those studies, they looked at a BMI of 30, and they've said if your BMI is above 30, you've got an increased risk of complications, wound healing problems, respiratory problems, chest infection, pneumonia, DVT, PE. These risks are higher at higher BMIs. So if your BMI is lower, you are going to reduce your risk of complications. Now, nothing magical happens at 30, but just generally speaking, the lower your BMI, the less your risk of complications. So obviously, that's quite an important factor. But the other factor about BMI and surgery is the fact that if your weight changes, then your body changes. And if you're having body contouring surgery, ideally, you don't want to do it on something that's changing. You want to do it on something that's static so that your surgery will hopefully, you know, hopefully you'll get it right. You'll make your body look how you want it to look, whether it be the size or shape of your breast, the shape of your tummy, whatever it is. Um, but if then you were to lose a significant amount of weight, your breast might droop. There might be some laxity in the skin of your tummy. Um, similarly, if you want to put on weight, things might get bigger. And probably the worst thing you can do is put on and lose weight because that's what causes um, the, the, a lot of people to need body contouring surgery in the first place. That stretches the skin, makes your breast droops and your, and your tummy skin droop. So if you were to lose or, or at least put on and lose a significant amount of weight after surgery, you could almost undo the work that you've had done. So, you know, obviously you don't want to pay all this money and have a tummy tuck or whatever and then put on and lose a significant amount of weight and stretch that skin again. So that's that's really important when you're having body contouring surgery because you want to have as long lasting a result as physically possible. So um, so whilst they usually talk about BMI 30 in terms of the complications, um, I usually say to people, look, if you're not happy with your weight, you need to lose weight first. And that could be if your BMI is below 30. So your BMI might be 28, 29, but you want to lose weight. I'd say, look, lose weight first. Don't have surgery now, even though on paper you've got the BMI below 30. You've got to get your weight stable. So if you're losing weight, lose weight first and then have the surgery um, because you, you really want to be doing it on a stable platform.